tab, let the journey begin. Knowledge on tap, let the lessons sink in. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Learn with Hattie. In this video, we're gonna go over the Comet browser. I made another video too, right before this one, and it had all the information about perplexity and about Comet. If you wanna check it out, you can click the link above. And also, if you use the link for Comet in my description, you can get one month free of Perplexity Pro. So let's check out Comet. I am sure by now everybody's heard of perplexity.ai. If you haven't, Perplexity is one of the best AI bots I think available. And the reason behind this is because it actually searches the internet live and gives you accurate information with all of its sources. So you can go back and check. A lot of the other AI chatbots are more conversational. They can find information pretty good, right? But they're more about making you happy and keeping you engaged. Perplexity is different. And on top of that, they just created the Comet browser. And the Comet browser puts Perplexity's AI bot inside of the browser so it can actually automate tasks. It's pretty wild. So let's check out the Comet browser and I'm gonna show you why I think it's awesome and also show you with new technology comes new risks. So let's check out the Comet browser and let me show you some crazy things this thing can do. So we're gonna go to a crypto website or you could do this on stocks, you could do this on any website you go to. Let's go to MinSwap. All right, when you go to MinSwap, go over to market. So you can see all the tokens right here. Open the assistant. You can say, I'm looking for the best token to invest in right now. When you check out the website I'm on, go through the tokens and see what is the best to invest in over the next six months. Check out the charts and data to get an accurate idea. Let's see what happens. And sometimes you'll get this website I'm on. Go through those tokens. And now it's actually going to start going through the website and going through the tokens and checking out the charts and showing you what it thinks the best investment would be. We've got Snek on the screen. So now it's going through DJED. Now it's going through USDA. You can see down in the corner it's reasoning and trying to figure out what to do next. Let's see what token it tells us. I wonder if it's going to be Iagon, maybe Midnight, Hosky. And we got USDM on the screen. There's Igon. We're at Indy. Now it's probably not a good idea to trust AI with your investment goals, <laughs> but it is cool how it can do this and how it can go through a website, look at charts and try to help you decide on what might be a good investment. It's going through the top gainers right now. I'm pretty interested to see what token it tells us at the end. I wonder if it's going to be a stable coin, maybe something different. You guys want to see what it says? Here's a detailed summary from the MinSwap market page focusing on Cardano DeFi tokens with the strongest charts and growth signals based exclusively on the live data and charts for each token. Uptrend for one month and a year, high volume, strong meme momentum. Speculative, but major gains and solid liquidity for SNEC. Here's World Mobile. Stable growth across several months with frequent volume spikes. World Mobile is a pretty cool project. Oh, here we got Iagon, decentralized storage. 
Consistent upward growth in seven days, 30 day time frames, and one year chart. Attracting community Web3 development interest. Igon, there's some things going on. We've got Indigo, Indie right here. Strong uptrend, especially in 30 days. High lock liquidity and best in class APR. We've got Liquid, Honorable. Now this is just a fraction of what it can do. And it would take me all day to go through all this, but I wanna go through a couple more things that I thought were pretty cool on Comet. Click right here, it can give you some ideas of what this browser can do. But I wanna show you how, if you wanna go through the latest news and fly through the articles, you can do something like this. Find me the latest news about Cardano. And then it gives you every source that it found the news from, and you can double check it. Got it directly from Cardano sources and see and other things like this summarize key recent developments in cardano's ecosystem it shows you some websites of the latest news here's coindesk so if we go to coindesk we'll go to this article and say we don't want to read through the whole article we just want to get it summarized and get an idea of what it's talking about we open the assistant and we could say summarize this article a quicker way to summarize the page is by going up here and clicking these three lines right here and that will summarize the current web page for you without having to type any prompt in. And then here's a summary of the article. It kind of breaks it down for you, makes it a little easier to read. Or you could do summarize this article in three key points. Now it breaks it down even smaller for you and makes flying through articles and learning a lot faster. One more thing I thought was pretty cool was that this browser has commands. So if you have your email accounts connected to the browser, you can have it do a daily brief slash daily brief and gives a morning update on emails, calendar, and news. Also go through meeting prep, focus time. You could do tab cleanups. There's so much you could do with this browser. It would take me all day to go over it all. I just want to give you like a little taste of what it can do. This browser is absolutely crazy and can automate so much for you. But there's also risks involved. A major vulnerability called Comet Jacking was revealed this month. It allows attackers to hide malicious instructions inside a harmless looking link that when opened in Comet, tricks the AI assistant into stealing your data, including emails, calendar info, and stored credentials. So when using this browser, you need to be a lot more careful with what you do. And that's why I always say it is the best to use multiple browsers for different things. Every browser should have a purpose. Like Brave Browsers Entertainment Browser. Chrome can be more of your personal browser. Browsers like this can be content creation browsers or information collecting browser. Every browser I think has a purpose and it's not good to just focus on one because then you open yourself up to vulnerabilities. It says these prompt injections can bypass traditional browser safeguards since they target the AI's internal logic rather than the page code. The attack demonstrates how AI browsers can become insider threats if hijacked. The browser itself has legitimate access to sensitive content. Security audits in mid-2025 revealed that Comet's summarization feature once exposed user passwords, OTPs, and even banking data when processing pages containing hidden malicious text. Although perplexity patched the flaw, the incident shows how easily AI-enabled summarization models can misinterpret hidden or encoded content as legitimate commands. And this is what we were going over in my previous video, over trust and automation hazards. Since Comet is designed as an AI co-pilot, it can make autonomous decisions such as logging into sites or writing emails. This can lead to accidental data leaks and phishing amplification. It also goes over how you can use the browser a little safer. I suggest personally not logging in to everything on one browser, splitting up your things, being careful what you click, do not share personal information with anyone. As much as you possibly can. A lot of your information is probably already out there and has probably already been leaked. So browsers like Comet are awesome and amazing and the next step in technology evolution, I think. But it also opens a bunch of new risks. So we need to be careful. We also cannot just not use it. You know what I mean? The world is moving faster and I feel like we have to move faster with it. And AI is helping us do that. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and comment. Let me know what you think about perplexity and comment. Let me know also what you think about these recent AWS outages and how it affected a lot of the things that we use on a daily basis. All right, everybody, remember, stay curious. Keep learning, and you always win with the Hattie Hats.